FYI, the information on this conference call is intended for educational purposes only. The product that uh, you hear about is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And as always with any problem, check with your physician first. And uh, today we have Fred Neal uh, to talk to us about the oxygenated water. Uh, he's going to talk about some new inventions, and uh, I'm kind of excited to hear about some of the results they've been getting. Here we go, Fred. There, I'm going to let you have it. Well, that's tossing it to me real quick there. You didn't even give me a warm-up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, Dave, Brad, did before you... before you start, this is David. I've joined the call. Well, thank you, Dave, for coming on. Hi, Tommy. How you doing? I'm doing real good. I'll, I'll tell you about those pads in a few minutes. Oh, good. I'm, I'd be glad to hear about it. Okay. Uh, listen, Dave, but, uh, you you want to uh, introduce Dave and his... Yeah, let me Tommy, introduce Dave. Dave, do Dave D'Artez has a website called globallight.net, and that's G-L-O-B-A-L-L-I-G-H-T dot net. Uh, Dave D'Artez has some very unusual products. He also has the oxygenated water, but he's also uh, started with a new product, and that's what they're going to talk about is this new product. The iPads, they have 6-inch pads, and they have 4-inch pads. And um, that's about all I can tell you about it. I, all I know is my mom was 86 years old. She puts the pad on her head, on her arm. She puts it just about everywhere. And she fell in love with it. It used to be the bottle. Now she done switched over to the pad. The pad's a little more comfortable, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is a lot more comfortable. And, uh, Dave, uh, tell us about these pads, uh, the iPads, this 4-inch pad, the 6-inch pad, and how they work. Well, surely. I, uh, I suppose most of your audience already knows about the liquid manna. And uh, Fred tells us, you know, how the, the powerful oxygen that's in the, the bottles just radiates out through the bottles. And people were, we have, we have about 12,000 customers, so we hear from a few people. And uh, people were saying, you know, that bottle is really great, but uh, it's kind of uncomfortable. You roll over on in the bed, roll over it while it's in the bed, and, and you know, it's, I'm not sure if you're going to break the bottle. So Fred and I knocked around some ideas, and I searched for companies who could make up pads for us where you could put the, the power of the liquid manna in the pad, and, uh, and it'd be just a little bit more comfortable. And it turned out I, I was having some dental work done, and as I left the dentist's office, they handed me a little circular pad that was frozen solid said, here, put this on your tooth. It'll make you feel better. And as, as much pain as I was in, I still said, you've got to tell me where you get those pads. And I tracked that company down, and they they have a number of different products, but the ones that excited me were the little 4-inch round pads. It's filled with a gel kind of agent. Uh, you can't actually freeze it, but the power of the liquid mount is such that you don't particularly derive any benefit out of it being frozen. Just room temperature is fine. Then I found out they also had a larger pad. It's a six and a half inch pad. And, you know, I find that to be very convenient. Uh, oh, I spend way too much time at my keyboard writing emails and answering emails. And my neck will start hurting. And I'll just put that pad on my neck. And first thing you know, you forget that you had a neck ache. It just goes away. Uh, then uh, Fred and, and Doris talk a lot about the uh, benefits of, of having the royal on your eyes. Uh, you know, the, uh, I think Fred calls it purple. We call it the royal liquid manna. And um, so I started working with this company, and we developed an iPad. It, it, it's, technically, I guess it's for the eyes. It looks like a, a little bit like a Lone Ranger mask. It's about four and a four four and a half inches wide. Oh, maybe it's nine inches wide, and it kind of just wraps around your whole face. 
Uh, but people quickly learned that, uh, my goodness, in fact, I had a neck ache and I just took one of the iPads and wrapped it around my neck instead of uh, across my eyes. It has Velcro straps on it. You can, you can literally wrap it around your knee and connect it with a Velcro. Velcro, or you could put it on your elbow, or you could put it over your shoulders. It proves to be a very, very uh, versatile way to get the liquid manna right where it hurts. Tommy, have I, is that a, a good enough explanation? Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's good. Uh, we need some, test, some more testimony. The testimony I have is my mother was having problems uh uh, having headaches, she feels dizzy and lightheaded, and so I gave her the four-inch pad to put on her head. So she took a little tam and put it on her head and put the little four-inch pad up there, and she said it just balanced her out just almost immediately. Well, you know, you know how you know your mama's once the pain is gone, she just throws the pad over there on her dresser. And every time something comes up, I just tell her, I said, "Mama, where's your pad at?" She said, you know, I forgot about that pad. Let me take that thing, put it over here on my leg, put it over here on my arm. She, she always feeling kind of dizzy. And so that's what I've noticed with the pad. The iPad, I put the iPad on at night. Oh, it helps you to sleep a whole lot better. But sometime during the day, you know how the back of your head or the back of your neck, you know, working on a computer, you feel that stress and that strain. So I take the iPad and I turn it upside down and I wrap it around and it has that Velcro and I put it around my neck, upside down. Yes. And that's what I have done with the uh, the iPad. The, uh, iPad. the six-inch pad, I, I take it and I give it to my, my mother for, you know, her large areas on her legs, anywhere she's having pain or stress in her body. And that's what I have noticed that uh, it's done for her. And they're very, very flexible. And, yes, they don't, they're not like the bottle. Sometimes I think, you know, the bottles might break or I might loosen the top up. And uh, I've got water all over my bed, but so far I haven't, you know, wasted any purple water. But these pads are just perfect for just about everything. I received a testimonial just tonight by email from a friend of mine. We uh, go for go to the chiropractor every Wednesday and get ourselves adjusted. And Tito was having a, a great deal of, uh, pain in his knees. In fact, he had surgery mm, a few days ago, but while waiting for surgery, he was in a great deal of pain. He got two of the small pads, put one on either side of his knee, and wrapped it in an ace bandage. And uh, he sent me an email, and he says, David, it's just amazing. He said, I put those two pads on my knee, left it with the ace bandage for the whole day, when I took the bandage off, the pain was gone, and for the following two and a half weeks until I had the surgery, I had no more pain. Wow. Uh, Dave, would you mind telling us about the price on these pads and how can we go about getting these pads from you, the iPad, the 4-inch, the 6-inch? Sure. Um, you already said my website, which is www.com global light l i g h t dot net but the easy way to order is to i have a sales office in phoenix and there's an 800 number there it's 1 888 236 2108 should i repeat that tommy yeah, go ahead and repeat it again. It's one eight 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 two three six two one zero eight. Either Della or Robert will answer the phone there, and and you can place the order. The um, the four inch pads we sell for sixteen. The Six and a half inch pad sells for twenty five, and we have a combination of pack where we it's very very popular. Most of that's the way most are sold. It's two of the four inch pads and one of the larger pads for fifty instead of fifty seven. 
and then the eye mask. Uh, eye mask is priced at 32. And I suppose that's it. Yeah. Okay. Now, what strength is this in these in this gel pad? I noticed this one says. Uh... <laughs> I I I I really had to beg Fred on that one. I I just felt that uh, I, I you know people can use the bottle and it's not comfortable and whatever else. But I just said, Fred, please, please, would you put a little extra charge on those pads? You know, just to give it that extra boost for the for that pain. And so Fred kind of goosed it up a little bit to its power of the Royal plus another twenty five percent. Yeah, that's and, what I noticed on there. Oh, and they're powerful. They're powerful. And for those that don't know what the Royal is, the Royal is the purple. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fred and I are constantly having to convert. Yeah. It's red-green for him, and we call that the regular, and it's purple to him, and we call that the Royal. And It, it, it is royalty. It, yeah. It's top of the line. I noticed you had a testimony on there one time where somebody had came up with why and what that energy is doing. Uh, do you care to talk about that a little bit? Uh, at one time, I read it one time on one of the conference calls. I I feel like I should defer to Fred on that. It is his development and his technology. Oh, okay. And uh, if you're okay with that, Fred, I'd like to throw that ball over to you. Okay, now what do you want me to say here? I, I, I was trying to, he was talking about, I was trying to recall the, 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 the situation. The late, there was a lady that had, uh, she was telling about what the, the water does and how often you should drink the, uh, the uh, purple water and what it was doing, something about it was erasing and it was uh, erasing the memory of, Something, something to the effect of erasing the memory of pain, or something like that. That must have been. Uh, that might have come from Libby, did it, uh, Dave? It sounds like it. it if, if it came from Libby, it would have come with an accent. <laughs> my yeah. Wife, yeah. My uh, wife Libby is Australian, and uh, I don't. Uh, I, uh, do you recall the uh, incident enough, Dave, to go ahead and address it? Because I'm I'm drawing a blank on on it myself. Drawing a blank on it. We, we've had. Hundreds and hundreds of testimonials, and I'm drawing a blank on that one. Well, tell us about the uh, the uh, what is that? Those Carillion photography. Oh yeah. Now uh, that is amazing. That is amazing, and we'll this coming. I think it's this weekend. Uh, we'll be taking some more photographs. Carillion uh, for photography. If, if people are not aware of it, it it's a, a special. A special camera where uh, the the film is able to pick up the electrical aura that's around each of our bodies, and and it picks it up. Typically, it's a Polaroid type picture, and it will pick up different colors, uh, blues and greens and reds and yellows, and uh, uh, and depending on energetically how you're responding to whatever it may be, uh, a, a vitamin, a supplement, uh, liquid manna. Um, the, the, the colors that your aura radiates will change in response to that. Uh, we hired a photographer, really a photographer, actually it was a husband and wife team, and we had probably six or eight volunteers who would come in and they would have their Carillion photography, uh, photograph taken and then they would, oh, uh, in most instances they would drink a half bottle of the purple and then wait half an hour and then we'd take another picture of it. And there would be dramatic shifts. Uh, there, there's their uh, sense of well-being, their harmony, their uh, uh, their aura would just increase in intensity and, and color. And uh, the couple who were taking the pictures, of, of all those volunteers, I think there were six, maybe eight, 
every single one of them had a response, and it's a very positive response to either putting a pad on their body and then waiting a while or drinking a half bottle of the Royal. And the couple, you know, they, they do this professionally and they, you know, with lots of different products and lots of different people. And their comment to Libby was that they have never, ever seen a product where 100% of the people respond and respond positively. And uh, it's, it's just the incredible power of, of the liquid mana. It, it's so well named. It, 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 is, it, is, it is a matter for having it. Uh, Dave, could I equate that uh, somehow or another to <coughs> to uh, the energy fields? Absolutely. That's what that's what the photographs are. It, that's what it's recording. It's it's the energies emanating from around, typically around your head, is what they take a, a picture of. Well, well and I, also I believe I believe you have uh, have those uh, pictures on your posted on your website somewhere there. Absolutely. Um, um, I think we managed to get those up this week. If you go to our website, it's at www.globallight.net, and then if you select the category of liquid matter, we've got about 100 products, but certainly by far the most exciting product we have are, are the various liquid matter products. Um, there will be a link there that you can click on, and you can go off and see those photographs. You can see the before and the after, and the explanation of the shift that occurred when they drank the liquid manna. Truly amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. I tell you, I, I, I like the sound of this liquid manna. I'm, I'm, I need to get on that too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and like my wife says, David, I was gobsmacked. <laughs> I've never seen uh, anything like that. <laughs> also, you... it, uh, excuse me just a minute while we're, uh, I want to flip back to those pads and the eye mask. Uh, Dave, we don't believe <clears throat> those things will ever lose their power, do we? Well, uh, you know, it's interesting. I've had you check the oxygen radiation of products after a while, and, and they don't decrease. It, it's truly amazing. I, I think it's a forever kind of thing. Well, I do too. And, see, that's one of the, uh, one of the things that we were able to achieve whenever we uh, developed this uh, uh, liquid manna. <coughs> uh, not only did we get a... Uh, high oxygen content like nobody's ever uh, had before but as long as it, it's wet we found out that it will hold its high oxygen level because we have stabilized the water molecule and it is really incredible it's an incredible uh, product even if I do say so and the Lord gave me this this idea I'm, I'm not smart enough to figure out figure this out on my own in case anybody here is wondering if I'm some, something special, but uh, I'm just a country boy that was on his deathbed, and and I was shown how to come off that deathbed, and the result of it was the liquid manna, we call it now, and uh, we we're, we just get tremendous testimonies on a daily basis, and Dave is <clears throat> running this stuff all the way over to Australia and other places, and we're shipping it uh, all around the U.S. and England and uh, Canada and Mexico, Hawaii, Alaska, wherever. And uh, the results, the the testimonies that we get back are, are really, really phenomenal. So the, these, these, these pads, these discs are, are a really a nice addition to what we're doing and of course, this is whenever whenever you do something like we're doing with this water, it opens up a whole another world. And like I've told Dave and others, you know, there's a hundred different ways that we can go uh, with this. Uh, but these are just some of the things that uh, we've come up with. And and uh, I guess 
too, while Dave is here, uh, maybe maybe we want to talk a little bit about the uh, the iodine, Dave, and how we how we were able to uh, come up with that, and what is your first impression realizing that we're we we've got a product now. Dave is handling it, and uh, but we're also uh, considering further developments on it that's going to make it even even nicer and this was this was uh developed in response to this uh radiation fallout that's coming from japan and uh i already knew kind of what uh what to expect because i i have been to chernobyl and uh and uh and saw the chernobyl kids over there just outside of moscow and it is such a damnable sight what this uh radiation and uh, toxic waste and all does to the human body and so we're we're trying to anticipate uh, and uh, get that product uh, developed uh, and uh, we we want to uh, we want to be there what what did I say Dave with the best when the worst happens <laughs> yes <laughs> you, you come up with some clever phrases <laughs> so yeah. so how did how did uh, how did you happen to to come hit me with the idea of doing this? Do you recall? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when when the when the accident at the nuclear plant in, in Japan first happened, um, I, I think it would be accurate to say there was a panic scene. We sold a little half ounce bottle of iodine. Uh, and had sold a little bit of it steadily for the last uh, maybe six or seven years. Well, when that accident occurred, I sold out uh, within hours, and uh, and I simply could not get any more. I started calling around the country trying to find uh, Lugols, trying to find uh, potassium iodide, which is a, a very common form of iodine, and. Uh, most places weren't even answering their phone, or if they did answer, they said, "You know, we're out. Don't call back." It was it was a you know an alarming scene, and you know we we just try so hard to have important and valuable things available for our customers, and I was helpless. I just there was nothing I could do, and I I was talking to Fred and, and lamenting the fact that you know people have an urgent need for iodine, and and we simply cannot get it. And uh, Fred commented, well, you know, I've been kind of thinking about that and wondering what I could do for my family, and I, I have some ideas about how uh, we could maybe create an iodine product. Well, I, I jumped on that prospect like a duck on a June bug. Um, and as Fred, you'll have to help me as best I understand it. Um, what Fred has captured, in, in a sense, is the energy, the frequency, the signature of oxygen, and imbued that into water and made this miraculous liquid matter. What he's done with the iodine is a comparable thing. I supplied him the different forms of iodine that I had. He had some other forms of iodine, and what Fred was able to do is to capture the frequency, the vibration, the signature, whatever you want to call it, of four different iodines and imbue those all into a single product. Uh, the ex one of the explanations that Fred gave me, and, and my wife picked up on that, that idea as well, is that before your body can make use of anything you consume, whether it be milk, bread, or, uh, or aspirin, your body converts that to the energy, and that's what your, our, our bodies are, an electrical, energetic machine in a sense, and it's the energy, it's the vibration, it's the frequency of things that the body responds to. And in, in a way of understanding this is that Fred has captured the frequency of iodine, and if you want, cut out one step. Instead of going through the form of a physical iodine to the energy of iodine, he's gone straight to the energy of iodine. And it's 
all the various forms of iodine that we had available to us. It makes it a very powerful product. And the concept uh, for people who don't know and, and understand the power and the value of liquid manna, it might be a little harder to grasp when, when all of us, though, have experienced liquid manna and see what it can do, the energy, if you want, of, of oxygen can do for us, then it's not such a big step to understand the concept of the energy of iodine. We, uh, working together with Fred and Doris, we, we term it essence of iodine, and that's the name of the product. I, I think I should mention uh, as a, a special thanks to Fred and to the people that he works with, we normally sell the essence of iodine for $32. It's a, it's a one-ounce bottle. It has... <laughs> I had enough of Fred's people ask me that I finally had someone on staff sit there and count how many drops are in that bottle, and it's a little over 700. We recommend, Fred prefers, I think, six drops twice a day. Uh, I, I'm, I'm more inclined to suggest to people that they take 12 drops at once each day. Do the arithmetic, you know, a, a, a bottle of the essence of iodine last you for a while, at least a couple of months. I should also mention that for for infants, we, reckon, we recommend maybe four or five drops. But beyond the age of four or five, we, we, we find that uh, children can take the same as the adult. The, the beauty of it is that this form of iodine, you get all of the benefits, but none of the side effects. We, we began to learn that you have to be a little bit careful with Lugol's iodine. You have to be a little bit careful with potassium iodide. Uh, there, there can be some side effects, some reactions that are maybe not good. So when you're working with the essence of iodine, uh, that isn't a concern, but we do find that uh, four or five drops is enough for an infant. And how long will that last? The uh, the frequency in that eye, in, you know, in that liquid. Oh, it's, oh goodness! It, I, I, you know, uh, that's probably a, a question that Fred should answer. But since it's the same concept technically to make the iodine as to make the liquid man of oxygen water, I think it's a forever product. Okay. Uh, it's not uh, I'd have to agree with you, Dave. I think it is too. <laughs> We're also uh, uh, looking to uh, enhance that uh, with with uh, another thing or two. Uh, you've got uh, three types of cesium that comes out in these uh, in these radiation fallout, and uh, uh, we we want to uh, incorporate those in into it and that's one of the things that we're looking at now it'll just uh, I think I think we're good like we are but if we can make it a little bit better well then we'll do that and the uh, beauty part about it it's uh, it's a homeopathic solution and uh, like David said we're we uh, <clears throat> deal in uh, energy levels because the body responds to energy levels and so the we put this in a and uh, in our uh, regular uh, liquid manna uh, elevated uh, oxygen level water, and uh, what this does, it uh, it takes the uh, iodine up to a very high level without uh, affecting the, the body, you know, without any any side effects, and the, the body can handle it. <clears throat> It's and it deals with energy level. So whenever you're you're talking with a very high energy level, uh, then when when this fallout hits the hits the body and it is going to be overcome by this uh, high energy level that we have uh, designed into this product. And so we've we've got a it's a one of a kind. There's no doubt about that. There's nobody else doing what we're doing with this and. And uh, I, I think it's uh, uh, going to be something that, uh, well, I know 
based on what I have read and understand about nuclear uh, problem areas, uh, that it's going to be with us for years to come probably. So this this is good that we've got uh, a jump start on it. We do have uh, some people on it that I'm monitoring. Uh, we do pick up a little bit of uh, uh, radiation already in, in this part of the country and and uh, not not of any particular consequence, but it's good that we can pick that up and then uh, measure what what's in there and in the body and then uh, then uh, uh, take the uh, iodine well then then we can see that it it will dissipate that uh, uh, radiation that's in the body already so we we're really quite excited about it and uh, we've got some people that's going to be uh, going out on the west coast and th- those people have been hit pretty hard with this radiation fallout and uh, I've made arrangements to have uh, a half a dozen of them uh, work with me kind of as, as guinea pigs as, uh, to explore where they are and then <coughs> before and after we'll get a we'll get a much better feel for what we're uh, what we're uh, looking for and how far we need to take this thing but I'm, I'm quite excited about it I'm uh, I think it's going to be a product uh, uh, equal to the the liquid mana. It's uh, it's basically a liquid mana designed for a little bit different uh, arrangement, but uh, I think we're going to be real happy over a period of time with it. And the beauty part is we can uh, respond to whatever quantity that was going to be needed, and there's going to be a lot of people needing it. Okay, well, I know a lot of people out there are going to have some questions, and I'm going to open up the line. So that uh, I mean, so people can ask questions about it because that is a very those are two uh, very good um, uh, very important products and those that would like to ask some questions you know you feel free to ask uh, Fred and uh, Dave these questions. Uh, Tommy, before you open it up, I, I would like to address the issue of iodine just a bit. Uh, it it may not be mm, universally known the importance of iodine. Uh, let's say it this way. Uh, there's a, a brilliant doctor, David Brownstein, who's written a number of books about iodine. He suggests that at least 80% of the population is deficient in iodine. The, the, the problem with radioactive iodine <clears throat> being in our environment is that our body, when it's iodine deficient, is desperately looking for iodine from any source it can find it, even if it's radioactive. If your body is saturated with iodine, if your thyroid has all the iodine that it would like and and needs, then the radioactive iodine is not attractive to it, and it just passes on by. So the importance, uh, a number of people have asked me, should I even though the radioactive iodine has not reached our area, should I start taking the iodine, the essence of iodine? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. Uh, You want to have your thyroid saturated with iodine so that it's not going to try to take in the radioactive iodine. Uh, The hazard is, I'm told, Fred may know more than me, that uh, most of the victims victims of Chernobyl died from the radioact the after effects of radioactive iodine. Your body takes in the radioactive iodine. In the case of, of women, uh, the thyroid provides iodine to the breast tissue and also to the uh, tissue in the ovaries. In the case of men, to the prostate. So if you allow your body it, through deficiency to take in radioactive iodine, and it's sending that radioactive product out to uh, those other sites in your body and, and puts you at great risk and peril. So that's kind of the mechanism and the importance of iodine in this kind of situation. The other radioactive particles like uh, cesium and strontium and uh, plutonium, they act differently, and I, frankly I don't yet understand how it works, but it's not quite as aggressively taken in by the body as radioactive iodine is if you're deficient in iodine. 
I just thought that background might be helpful, Tommy. I appreciate that. That that does shed a lot better light. I, I'm gonna open up the line where people can ask questions and uh, about the pads and the iodine, the uh, essence of iodine. Uh, do you have any questions? Hey, what? Yes, question. Is uh, is so? Is this an iodine or or an essence of iodine? In other words, it is not truly an iodine, but just the frequency of the iodine. Yeah, we. We uh, we have uh, uh, it's like like our our water. If you're familiar with it, we we uh, we do uh, our operation on on the water after the water is bottled at the bottling plant, and uh, we we uh, are able to uh, electronically, if you will, put put that. Uh, oxygen in there but then whenever somebody goes to the hospital and uh, they check uh, they check them for oxygen and all well then uh, they're they're reading they're reading uh, uh, the oxygen that that's in the body uh, we're dealing we're dealing with energy levels which uh, which the is is hard to understand but uh, that's that's what that's what we're doing, and I'm kind of stumbling here to, because I, I want to I don't want to lead anybody astray. But we don't we don't open the bottle and pour uh, oxygen in the water. We don't open the bottle and pour iodine in the water. But whenever you send it to the lab, then they're going to measure iodine. Is that a fair is that a fair explanation? Yes, but again, so it is not. The physical properties of iodine, but only the electrical or frequency of the iodine. Yes, we're 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 picking up the the energy of the iodine, and uh, and that that has its own signature, and we're able to identify it and uh, put it in into the product. So, is there also dangers of overdosing, like you do, like a, with a Lugol solution? No, because we're we're doing this on a homeopathic. Uh, Situation and uh, it's uh, uh, it's like it's like oxygen. You can't overdose on oxygen. Correct. Correct. Okay. So so we've got a we got a situation here where your body should uh, respond very nicely to it, and uh, I see no no way that you're going to be able to overdose on it. So if it is just the frequency or the essence of iodine, then it's a clear liquid. It, it, it's yes, we put it in uh, clear liquid. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, we do have some people that, uh, if you would, uh, you have some background noise. Press star six, uh, and you can ask some questions. Do you have any other questions? As Fred was talking, it 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 brought to mind. Uh, a situation, a friend of ours in Washington State was in the hospital in intensive care, and we had uh, sent her some bottles of liquid manna. It was the Royal, and uh, she was on all kinds of equipment. They were monitoring, you know, her, her pulse rate and her oxygen levels and whatever else. Well, an alarm went off because her oxygen levels had gotten too low. And the nurses came running in, and uh, Joni said, I, I, I realize that it's the same, my oxygen is low, but if you would hand me that bottle of Royal and put it right next to my body, I think you're going to see something very amazing. Cool. And uh, within a few seconds, the alarm stopped going off because she was getting oxygen through the bottle into her body. When they took the bottle away, the alarm went off again. And uh, uh, so the, doc- the nurses called in the doctor, and, and, and Joni explained to them as best she could in her condition that the oxygen was coming from that bottle, and That's that was cool. addressing her, her low oxygen levels. And as you would expect, the doctor <laughs> and walks off. You know, that's not believable. <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> and how much is that uh, iodine? The essence of iodine. The essence of iodine. The regular retail price on my website is thirty-two, but if people on this call 
call my sales office in Phoenix at 1-888-236-2108. We are offering it for uh, your friends Tommy and, and Fred's for 25 instead of 32. Actually, yep. a number of uh, Fred's people have called and, and ordered quite a lot when, when they order. One fella ordered 25 bottles. Another fella ordered 13 bottles. Wow. And that number again is 888-236? 2108. 2108. What I was about to say is that if people want to reach out and provide this to friends and family and, and uh, mm -hmm. neighbors and, and buy uh, larger quantities, if they if they buy a dozen, we'll, we'll offer it to them at $20 a bottle. It's, it's just our way of trying to help. Very good, very good. But when they call that number, Tommy, they have to identify that they're a friend of Tommy Lee or they're a friend of Fred. Okay. What if you tell them they're a friend of Dave's? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be oh, no, nice. <laughs> they hang up the phone? <laughs> I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> we, we we have a lot of fun. I work with Dave quite closely here, and uh, we have a lot of fun. And uh, and I, I think we I, I think this is you know I'm I'm 78, and if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna have fun doing it. And if we can do something like this to help help people, well then that makes the fun all all the, all the better, doesn't it? Oh yeah. And what about these products that are uh, increasing the back gas mileage? Oh boy! Well, Fred, uh, you want to touch that one? Well, <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna. I didn't know he was gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, we're we're also uh, uh, working on on some things that will help uh, increase the fuel mileage on your vehicle. Uh, we've seen some uh, pretty interesting uh, things already. Uh, Dave has got uh, got some real nice experiences, and then he's also has somebody that's. Uh, that's working with uh, uh, these huge, these big over-the-road trucks, uh, Peterbilt and and uh, Kenworth, right. and uh, I, I think uh, I think it's fair to say that it looks like right now we're getting uh, something like what 20% increase in fuel mileage, Dave. The lowest report we've had is 15%. The highest is 20%. Okay. Uh, and the variable seems to be, well, the tests that we're running are in Utah, and uh, they've had some weather conditions. They're still having, up in the mountainous area, they're still having snow and ice. Uh, they're having some pretty uh, fierce winds blowing through there. So in, in adverse conditions, it'll drop as low as 15% improvement. Uh, it's, uh, it's early. It, it, I, I, there are some engineering problems because we're talking about uh, water that's even, even intenser in oxygen than the royal or, or the purple. Uh, and I, I guess I kind of have a theory about what's happening. My theory is that when you transfer the oxygen from water into fuel, it makes the fuel more explosive if you want, it, it, it ignites, it burns at a, at a higher rate, and that's what's accounting for the, for the improved mileage. If that's indeed how it's working, I fully expect that at some point we're going to start seeing lower emissions as well. If you burn a higher percentage of your fuel, then uh, less of it is blowing out the back. Know, as uh, as pollution, uh, but uh, right now we're we're dealing with engineering issues. How do you safely put water? What kind of a container or device or a structure can you use to put water into a, a, a diesel tank of a big truck without leaking water into their fuel and uh, We've had some interesting challenges, but I think we're very close to solving that problem. 
it's going to have an enormous impact for anyone in the trucking business, anyone with tractors. I mean, uh, we, we did some investigating at a rail yard. These these engines that, that run uh, the trains, they have like a 4,000-gallon tank, you know, and the, the oxygen, it, it just works magic. It's in the fuel, and uh, we're using a slightly different technique for cars, and I'm not sure we're getting that high yet. But the challenge with cars is with uh, the way the the, the uh, computers. Well, yeah, the computers. That's certainly an issue. But the other issue is how do you get a device through the through the uh, the place where you fill up your tank? Typically, that'll run kind of a curving route down to where your the stu fuel is actually stored. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're having. We're looking at the concept of putting some, putting the energetic charge, the oxygen charge, onto some standard additive as the way to get the oxygen into the fuel. It's kind of it, it's it's kind of like excuse me, Dave. It's kind of like putting a tablespoon of uh, of uh, your regular in a gallon of water. <clears throat> it it'll go ahead and. Uh, Energize that whole gallon to the level of the of the regular. So we're using that same principle, and uh, and we're we're getting some interesting results. We're we're not there yet, but uh, uh, I'd I'd say that it, it is looking promising, wouldn't you, Dave? Oh, absolutely. I, I looked up. I, I have an old uh, 2003 Ford Expedition. And I looked up on the internet what are the mileage expectations for that vehicle, and, and you know all over the internet I found that you can expect 13 miles to the gallon around town and 16 on the highway. Well, with with our early experiments, I'm getting a little over 16 around town. Out on the highway, I'm getting off close to 20. And I'm not sure that's quite 20% improvement yet, but it's on the right track. On the right track. The concern, uh, some of it I think flows from what's happening in Japan, but uh, there are lots of other issues in the Middle East, and, and the expectation is that the cost of fuel is going to skyrocket. I've heard they expect that uh, gasoline could be $6 by the summer and, and could be $10 by the end of this year, and uh, places an awful lot of urgency and uh, Concern on, on fuel economy. Mm, well, let me <clears throat> open up the line. Can they uh, can they use those pads uh, on their gas tank? I've experimented with that some, Tommy, and uh, it, I, I created. Well, I have a great big diesel truck that I bought so I can go visit Fred and buy a lot of water. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to dump that truck and drive out there and. Uh, pick up about 13,000 bottles, uh, and uh, I, I first tried putting a pad, liquid matter, the outside of the fuel tank, and and I, I get a little bit of an increase, but it's not the same. Uh, I, I created an assembly yesterday, I placed it in the fuel tank of my truck, it's a 90 gallon diesel tank. And the next time we're on a call, I'll give you the results. I'm uh, I'm hoping that I'll I'll, I'll get the same 20% that we're seeing in uh, in Utah with those great big uh, diesel rigs. Mine's mine's not a small truck, but it's not you know it's not an 18 wheeler either. <laughs> and uh, okay. my my everyday normal mileage on it is 6.4 miles to the gallon. So uh, I'm hoping for eight. Maybe eight and a half, but by Saturday night I'll know that answer. Okay. Do we have any other questions? Press star six to unmute yourself. Well, you know, Fred, uh, when you ship the water, you ship it to us. Uh, the purple, you, sh you you wrap it in foil because it. Uh, 
it infiltrates the other bottles and makes them with a higher charge. Uh, is this osmosis of energy only possible with water, or is it also possible with alcohol? Uh, I, I think we can do this with just about any kind of liquid, and uh, and uh, we're 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 trying to do this uh, very thing on the the, the diesel and uh, gasoline, and we're working at that from two different angles. One is the additives, like uh, Dave was talking about. Another one is a device that we would actually put some of the water down into the fuel fuel tank and uh, get that get that radiation, if you will, of that uh, that energy then into the fuel. And that's 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 where we are right now, and it's looking very very promising. Yeah, I uh, sort of in that vein. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier we have 50 or 60 different products, and we started creating pads that we can put on our product shelves, and we set the products on those pads. I'm of the belief that there's nothing that's harmed by having more oxygen in virtually every product, even some that are not liquid or benefited by having uh, being in the presence of the liquid manna. So all of our products sit on our shelves sitting on liquid manna. Before that, we oh. would take bottles of the purple and scatter it among the products on the shelf uh, just to, uh, you know, it, 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 I feel like, you know, we, we sell, for example, a lot of the Miracle 2 soaps, and every one of those bottles has been sitting next to the uh, purple. We think that enhance the soap and, and give us a competitive edge. But most most importantly, it, it will make every product more beneficial for having been in the presence of that oxygen. If you have, uh, if you're taking other medications at home, I, I think it's a brilliant idea to set them close to a bottle of the liquid manna. Ooh. They are enhanced by that oxygen. We do hand lotions and cosmetics and things like that around here. Yeah, I put one in my refrigerator, put it in my medicine chest, I put it everywhere. And I agree with him. And it's uh, you're not you're you're not going to dissipate the energy level, so you might as well uh use it, you know, you have it and uh, and see th this gets back also to the basic water idea where you uh would put a uh a bottle of the royal in your bathtub and uh, energize that whole tub. Well, you don't uh decrease the energy of the of the royal after you're through and you've emptied the tub take the take the royal out and use it as if you were it was a, a brand new bottle because it still is it hasn't lost its energy you see what i'm saying wow i didn't know that it's a it's an interesting interesting product to say the least that we have here yeah i i've, I've been working here lately with i i, I have <clears throat> quite a large garden and I have some things that are starting to come in. I have uh, Swiss chard. I'm, I'm able to harvest and lettuce and uh, sweet peas. Mm. And I found that if I soak those vegetables in the liquid manna, like put a tablespoon or, or two in your sink water uh, mm. and soak those vegetables, it's amazing that they will last in the refrigerator two or three times as long as you would expect. Again, they're just they're enhanced. I think the nutritional value of them are enhanced, but certainly their ability to stay fresh is greatly enhanced by the oxygen. And there are there are people too that have noticed their milk will stay uh, uh, good longer too if they're if they set set it in the presence of this liquid manna. You put the bottle in the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, you, you you can take that bottle with you wherever you want to go, put it in a refrigerator, uh, sleep with it, take it with you when you're driving down the road. Uh you name it, it's uh it's 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 your friend. Yeah. Well one thing I did not understand was that um it did not lose any of its energy because I Hi. slept with it after some Never? surgery on my stomach. This is Diane. It made a big difference. Did you look at the first trough? 
I don't know. There was a there's some crosstalk or something on there. Yeah, somebody didn't... interrupted you. Could you say it again? Ask that question again. Uh, well, what I was saying was um, I did not know, and I always had feared that I was um, dissipating some of the energy in the purple bottle, the purple or the the what you guys call the royal. Royal. Yeah, and I had an experience. I had lap band surgery, and I had a real p big problem. <laughs> Um, and I put the bottle next to my stomach, uh, and it was amazing. The next day I did not have the pain, but I thought I was sucking energy from my body into the bottle, so I didn't know that it did not take it away that, from the bottle. No, it's, it, it is really incredible. We, we, didn't know, we didn't know this when we developed it. It just happened to be one of the blessings that came with the development of the thing, and, and uh, I, I have... Uh, been asked the question on a few occasions does anything uh, dissipate it and and uh, the the one thing that I would be uh, concerned about if you live uh, in the vicinity of a huge electrical transformer or something like that if it was in the next room or something like that well I I'd, I would be suspicious of that because uh, uh, the, they put out uh, a lot of energy level and I've never I've never really uh, tested it to see if uh, I don't. I don't think it would dissipate it because we we have a different uh, energy that we're putting uh, in there than what the electrical people use, and so uh, I don't think it would hurt it. But I would be suspicious if there was a big transformer or something nearby. I wouldn't uh, set it near it. But otherwise, uh, I, I can't think of any uh, situation where it's going to cause that uh, energy level to dissipate. We run it through the microwave and that doesn't do it you know a microwave generally wow. destroy just about anything so uh, well one of the things i told um fred was what amazed me in the morning that the bottle was hot almost hot you the know, water was almost hot and and we've had that same report from uh, several people even my wife uh, experienced it early on and uh, and uh i i I'm still trying to come up with an explanation for that, but uh, uh, it has it. Uh, uh, it just occurs to me, and this is me and me only, so don't take this to the bank or anything. But it, it it's just uh, that healing uh, value that that water is doing is somehow it's another. It's raising the temperature in that in that water in the process. I, that's the only thing I can think of. Well, Fred, this is Fran. If, if if I put this bottle in my pantry, how far out is the energy going to go? Well, you know, Fran, somebody, uh, that's a good question. Uh, somebody called in, and I don't remember if it was on Tommy Lee's uh, call sometime back, but they, they, they said that they had a way of uh, detecting the energy on that bottle, and they could uh, detect it up to 100 feet away. Now, I do not know what uh, kind of testing or anything like uh, procedures that they were using, uh, equipment or whatever, but it uh, they they said it, they could pick it up 100 feet away. So if if you get it anywhere near your body, well, you're going to get the effects of it. And I, I tell people incidentally, if you if you put it on on your on your stomach, it'll no doubt go all the way through your body. Right, right. I know that. I sleep with it. But I was thinking uh, after listening to this call, I was thinking of uh, putting it in the pantry and hoping that it would sort of energize everything. Well, it will. Mm -hmm. It will. Go ahead and do it. You're not going. You're not going to lose the value or the energy of the of the liquid mana. You, but you'll you'll enhance uh, the other things. Like Dave is talking about. He's he's got a warehouse and he's uh, doing the same thing in his warehouse, but he's using a much much larger space and he's got more 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 bottles or he's arranged arranged his uh, warehouse in such a manner that uh, most everything in there gets uh, gets the extra energy okay, and he so does have some you, go ahead go ahead Fran. Uh, okay i have a tree in my backyard and i live in southern california it's a lime tree and i have not had a lime in four years since it was planted and could I put the bottle like near the root system and just let it sit there? It gets hot here. I mean, I live in the desert area, Palm Springs area. Well, you you can do that. Uh, uh, 
you could probably uh, put that uh, uh, bottle in a container of water and okay. uh, and let it go ahead and charge it up like your bathtub, and then okay. uh, then maybe pour that on there. I, I I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of opposed to uh, putting our our bottles in uh, direct sunlight. Is what, what, why I'm hedging here because uh, I I just don't like the sunlight hitting uh, the plastic and uh, stuff like this. And we've seen uh, a lot of adverse effects from uh, colas and things that they took to Iraq and uh, over in the Middle East and let them sit out. And then people would drink those same because it changes the changes the the drink inside those cans uh is not all change our water it's just that uh, uh it might cause the the bottle to uh, uh leach or something even though our our bottles okay. are are the the safest they tell me at the bottling company as far as leaching is concerned i i prefer to keep it in a in a shade or in a in a cool space like in your pantry or something like that but yes, if i if i were to put the bottle in a bucket of water and then go Pour that water on the lime tree. How long do you think I should put the the bottle in the water? Well, just leave it leave it overnight if you if you've got okay. the luxury of that time. Now you understand. Uh, uh, whenever I was uh, developing this, uh, I had uh, I had seven ponds on my place there in Arkansas, and uh, we I had uh, four four ponds that I really was doing my my testing in, and and uh, I. I would put one bottle. And these are not large ponds; uh, they're typical farm ponds. But uh, I'd put one bottle in there and uh, leave it, and I'd check the oxygen level. And uh, whenever I got it up to where, well, it's so high, I didn't know how much higher I should take it. I, I took it out, but two and a, I took the bottle out, and then uh, two and a half years later, I checked the oxygen level in in that pond, and it's still at that high level of oxygen. Now. Wow. Also, let me uh, let me read a testimony that just just came in here from Diane in uh, Oklahoma re- recently. She said uh, uh, I put one of the purple bottles in the horse tank, unopened as it was so terribly polluted. And today, when I went down, it was so clear I could see all the way to the bottom. Wow! Just like you say about the ponds. My renter of the pasture runs cattle and was going to pour a gallon of bleach in the tank, but I told him. Not to, as I was going to do something. I bet he really, he is really surprised when he sees how clear the water is and didn't have to subject his cattle to drinking bleach. Uh, uh, those are just some of the the benefits, and we're uh, I have a situation in uh, Longview, uh, a town west of us here in, in East Texas, and this lady had this uh, uh, had this. It was just a. a a pool of water it was stagnant and it was so horrible and the ph on it was down in the the five level whenever we started work on this thing and i told her i said don't don't even put your hand in there because that thing is is acid according to the ph scale and uh and uh we i had her put uh two or three bottles in there and it took a a few months and and uh Finally, that thing just totally cleared up, and and this has been quite some time back. And I was talking to her last night, and I said, uh, "Is that is that pond still clear?" She said, "You can see everything on the bottom of it, and uh, it'll it'll uh, it'll stay that way now, uh, regardless whether it rains in it or not. Well, then uh, that 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 water is uh, uh, elevated at that high level, and uh, the rainwater that comes in there, or even the evaporation or anything like that, it's still got its oxygen. You understand? And yeah. that's that's what is so phenomenal about this uh, uh, product. Now, you you live in uh, Southern California. You might might consider uh, one other thing is uh, do you do yourself a uh, 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 do a drip operation. Uh, just to have a. Uh, and you I'm can go thinking to about what you're saying, right? Exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, and and that, I have all these shrubs. I have a, a probably 15 large shrubs that have been in my backyard. And the yard that I moved in in 2006 is extremely alkaline. It used to be farmland, 
And so minerals are completely sucked out of this thing. And where I came from before, 20 miles away, was pretty much sandy, and you could put anything in the ground, it would grow. Where I live now is so challenging, it's, it's crazy. So I was just thinking of testing like half this yard. And when you look outside, these, these trees are struggling. It's, it's so different from where I lived before in another area of this of where I live. And so I was just thinking the same thing is to set up a test because I that would be such a great story. Everybody yeah. where I live has the same conditions. It's extremely alkaline. Well, you're you just opened up something that's exciting Tommy and uh Tommy Lee and uh Dave because they uh they have some uh, very first-hand information on uh on uh uh uh, go ahead and tell them about your uh, day, uh, the the um, uh, the product that you have, the soap product. The oh, Miracle wow. Two, the Miracle yeah, the Two Miracle product two. is the product. Yeah. If you bathe with Miracle Two, you can take your bath water and put your bath water out there on your yard, and it will clear everything up. For that tree that you got planted, and you need to take two ounces of neutralizer in a gallon of spring water. What's neutralizer? It. I don't know what you're talking about. Miracle 2 has two products. They have a soap, a detergent. It's a green soap. It's a very concentrated soap made by Clayton Tedderton. And they also have a neutralizer. The neutralizer, if you take it, two ounces of neutralizer, put it in a gallon of, drink, of, of spring water, and spray it up and down over that lime tree, it will yeah. reactivate that plant to come alive, Put out blooms, and you'll start seeing lemons. Spray it about three times. Spray it one day, rest a day, spray it the next day, and you know, spray it all over, and then rest. Do it three times, but in between, rest, rest a, a complete day. The neutralizer will reactivate that tree to put blooms out and put out fruit. It also reactivates that uh, soil. I, I yes. Yeah. And if your soil is too... At, alkaline it will it will make the soil balance the soil out where the soil will be uh, uh it would bring it down to 7.2 you can and also mix I up the miracle too well um, i sell it you can find it on uh uh on global light networks we m move quite a bit of the soap and neutralizer you can give me a call after the conference call or you can email us my email is tommy m lee at gmail.com, T-O-M-M-Y-M-L-E-E -E at gmail.com. Okay. And we just had a guy on our conference call Tuesday night. He is the organic, he has the best organic uh, farm in uh, east, over in, uh, well, northeast Texas. And he was telling us how to use molasses and um, garlic for insects, seaweed, kelp, and uh, we had another guy named Lonnie Downs. He showed us how to use molasses, the soap, and the neutralizer to grow just about anything. And oh, black, we're great. talking about blackstrap molasses, unsulfured blackstrap molasses. Okay. I, we I, would do, love to test, I, I would love to test this tree because uh, this thing is like... It's crazy. Usually everything grows everywhere out where I live here, and this tree... I mean, we have tons of sunshine. It isn't that it's in a bad spot. It may be in a little different spot than my other trees that are getting fruit, but it's it's really the soil because all of the trees that I'm trying to make in the backyard, you know, I'm trying to make the yard real private, and they're just not growing. They've been in there like five years, and they're just these shrubs are like, you know, they've grown a couple feet, but they when the heat comes, they suffer. I mean, it, it is, it's so weird. To put a flower in the ground, you need a shovel. Mm. It's crazy because it's like yeah. clay. If it rains here, we get flooded because it does not soak in. The soil is really, really weird. Yeah, if you have, so see, what the soap does with clay, clay is not porous. It right. breaks the clay down so it will uh, absorb the moisture and drain. It makes okay. sandy soil where it's absorbed moisture, and it will be able to hold moisture. You can take a ball of sand, hold, make a uh, ball up a fist, and it'll hold its shape. And you, you'll be able to take a ball of clay, 
pour water on it, put the soap in on it, and it makes it wetter, and it will flow through through the clay. I would absolutely love to test that in my yard and like take a picture of half the yard, on both sides. Go ahead and take we'll a picture of it now. Yeah. We. Well, we've got some information to share with you that will show you how to produce something from nothing. The guy that we had on our conference call, he was growing uh, products in the Sahara Desert over in Egypt. Really? His name is Lonnie Downs. But I see it's getting late. We do have a lot of other people that might want to get off the call. They may have other. I'm sorry. (laughs) But but, uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, I do want to thank uh, Dave D'Artez for coming on our call, for giving his website. For those that uh, would like to order his product, you can go to his website at globallight.net, G-L-O-B-A-L-L-I-G-H-T dot net. And if you call and you want to uh, order his products, that toll-free number is 888-236-2100. Zero eight 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 two three six two one zero eight. Just make mention that you heard it. Uh, you were referred to his call from Tommy Lee's uh, conference call, and uh, he'll give you that discount. Wow, that's a that's an enormous discount. Does anyone have any other questions? Tommy, I'm going to have to fade away. I, I write a newsletter every Thursday night. I do I, I do agree with you. Thank you for coming on the call. We appreciate you, and we hope we can send you a lot of customers. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. And those Thank that you. would like to uh, play back this call, you can play, play it back. It's 712-432-1085, 712-432-1085. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and... uh